Why, hello there. Are you tired of getting a negative 611 error? Well, guess what? I got the goddamn solution for you, and it's called X-Link. And I figured it out. I have the solution for the Midnight Club 3 community for online play that gets rid of all the bullshit. No more guessing. No more 50-50 chance if you get online or not. This is the end-all be-all, and it will work, guaranteed, if you follow all my steps. Roll the intro. Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy, JD3, back at it again on another video. And I am coming to y'all with a little something different. This is my first tutorial. I'm going to break this. I'm going to have it as a, uh, I'm going to put a little uh, timestamp for this little section of me, the disclaimer and the explanation. And then I'm going to have it for people who just want to jump into the, the video. I felt it was important. I've been working, trying to do some stuff for the uh, Midnight Club, the community. And one thing that always stumped me was the online play of the game. There's been different tutorials, numerous tutorials on how to play online, be it a Christian server, um, you know, the 45, 27, whatever the number is. I forget exactly the DNS number. But the problem with that is, is that it's a 50 50 chance whether it will work or will not work. And, you know, I was one of those people, unfortunately, that it didn't work. So I got to thinking, why is there no other way to do this? You know, there has to be some better way. That's when I ran into X Link. This right here will be so much better because everybody can play and there's not going to be no problems as long as you follow everything I'm about to say. A to Z. A to Z. If you skip motherfucking C, bitch, it won't work. If you skip J, it won't work. Okay? Alright, if I tell you go from A to Z and write it all in capital letters. You put motherfucking N in lowercase, bitch. I don't want to hear, oh, it didn't work. I don't, oh, oh. No, shut your fucking dumb ass up because you didn't follow my damn instructions. You understand? All motherfucking instructions from A to Z and everything will be fine. But what I'm about to tell you. So I already got some things lined up here. So what you first want to do is you want to take your ass to this right here. I'll leave all the descriptions, uh, all the all the uh, the websites that you need to go to in the description below. I'm gonna assume that you already have PCXX2 set up. You're gonna go to download Xlink Kai. You're gonna click there. You're gonna click whatever this is. It's gonna say either Linux or Windows. Um, this doesn't work. Oh, it does work for Mac. So I'm pretty sure this will pop up or whatever. It automatically recognizes as your um. You know os mine obviously says windows um i'm not gonna click to install this because i've already installed it but how you go from here is you click this it installs the dot exe install and you click that run it with administrator and then you go through pressing okay for the install next thing you're gonna go and you're gonna go to mpcap you're gonna go down to uh you know this right here this installer you're going to install the MPCAP, all right? Then once you install MPCAP, you're going to re, uh, restart your PC. Or restart your PC after you do that. Make sure you restart your PC. Then boot it back up. And then during the network configuration, you go to network configuration and networking. Then you go over to create, edit network configurations. You click that. And it's going to take you to the network config disk that's built into Midnight Club 3 already. All right. I'm going to go to add setting. You're going to go to memory slot one or, you know, whatever slot you're in. Click your slot and move over Then click triangle. And then right here where it says Mac address, you're going to see four letters behind the Mac address. So whatever those four letters are, um, you're going to take those. I'm blurring mine out because, you know, 
that's my mac address to my pc and you know that stuff right there can give you access so of course i'm gonna blur it out but i'm pretty sure you have common sense to figure out you know what i mean by the last four letters you know there's some colons separating mac address the last two the last four letters that separated in the middle of the four where it's two and two with a colon those are the four that you need at the very end you need those four you know letters and number combinations so once you get once you get those last um four digits of your mac address you can put the mac address digits right here and then it's going to calculate your ip address and stuff that you need to put right it's going to show you once you click calculate ip address it's going to bring up basically all the information you need to calculate that you need to put um when you go back and you go back you know when you press back to get back to this screen and you go to not require and then you put my manual right here and you put all that stuff is going to be the ip address it's going to say subnet mask that goes where net mask goes and then it's going to say default gate gateway that is the default router and your default router should be the exact same number as um as your uh you know the dns the default dns so you're gonna put this number exact same number that's in this bar that i got highlighted in the next one so that's what you're gonna do and then once you go through that i'm just gonna click auto so i can go to the next step to show y'all so once you go through all that configuring all that stuff manually you're gonna do your connection test the connection test should pass You're gonna you know name your set i recommend naming it x link then you're gonna look here if everything looks good then you know, um you click ok and it's gonna save i'm not gonna save this because you know that's not what i want but that's what you're supposed to do once you do all that we're gonna go to settings we're gonna go to um game properties you're gonna go to network hdd you're gonna go click enable for the ethernet you're gonna click P uh, you're gonna click pcap switch and you're gonna click either wi-fi or ethernet whichever one you're connected by doesn't matter just whatever one you're connected by is either wi-fi or ethernet you're gonna close you're gonna click start excellent kai click yes let it do it all right now you're gonna log in right but if you don't already have a login, you're going to click this link right here to register. I've already registered, so I'm not going to do this again. But once you register, you click this register button and you accept the disclaimer. You're going to go to your email, whatever email you put here, email address. You're going to go to your email. You're going to find the uh, thing to um, it's going to tell you to basically you need to validate your account. You're going to go to email to validate or verify your email. And a, but you're gonna wait after you click verify you need to, you're gonna wait like two minutes two to five minutes you know until because sometimes it's a little delay for the verify so you're gonna wait two to five minutes after you press verify once you press verify then you'll be good uh, uh you know once you wait there then you'll be good to log in again from there because it'll take you once you press verify it'll take you to log in and then wait for like two to five minutes then put in your credentials and then log in and once it lets you log in then you know you're verified all right now that you're back in the game stay right here don't click land play yet don't click on land don't click on land yet now you're gonna go back you're gonna put in your information here to log in right so once you log in this is what it should look like this is your dashboard you know this is your dashboard so now you're gonna go to game arenas and you know we're gonna click on playstation 2 and then you're gonna see a lot of different ps2 games that has LAN support all right and in our case we're gonna click on midnight club 3 dub edition remix and then i already have my other account here that i'm gonna show you that this works so that's what that is nobody else is really playing right now that's my other account that i'm gonna show you but as you can see you have another account right here so let's just say you want, didn't want to click on is this this right here if you see something on this side this is a lobby this is a lobby that's what this is 
but let's just say first of all you want to create your own lobby so you click this pencil you know you can put a password you can put you know how many players you know description and then click create and then now you have your own lobby here you know but if you don't want to be have your own lobby anymore you can go back by clicking this back arrow and then let's just say i want to join another person's lobby if they don't have a password you can just click it and then you can join that easily just like that right now let's just say um you know and, and to check to make sure that everything is working fine you go to game uh, i mean not a game arenas you go to metrics excuse me you go to metrics this metrics right here will show you important information so basically um you know this will show you is your is your um is your uh computer reachable yes if it says yes that is good this shows you basically your ethernet type you know your your uh your your you know how you're connecting to the internet i'm connected via ethernet right now and then here if you see that basically whatever this says if you see that you're you know this is your mac address if you see that your mac address matches with your mac address said when you boot it up uh and you saw your mac address on the emulator then that means that everything is going good you're all set to go if that is all good then you're all set to go and it says okay that's all good now if this says wrong ip detected like this one underneath here if it says wrong ip detected you press the help button and it's gonna show you it's gonna create um on this white page behind here on here it's gonna create like okay so if you're having trouble configuring your network then basically you know um here's the steps follow these steps and you should be good to go and it's gonna tell you basically you know based on the ip address that your uh you know emulator currently is you know your pc you know these are what you need to put in your configuration um so uh you need to follow that and then go back to the disc where you uh put your uh um you put your uh you know dns settings and all that on the emulator go back there and then put that information all right so now that you're back on the land uh you know you're back on the networking page on your emulator um if if something if you put all that stuff in and basically you know you change your network settings for the cd when you're already in the game and it doesn't work just restart the game just restart the game reset it and then it should be fine so then go to your network configuration make sure you click your setting so i have my x link right here you click it then you don't click internet play x link is for lan it makes the lan into internet play because the internet play has the dns it has the dnas problem but the, that gives you the negative 611 because they shut down the dns authentication and so people have to come up with servers to emulate the dns authentication and that emulation sometimes can create a problem which gives you the negative 611 so we're going around that we're going to LAN play which now LAN is basically internet you click on LAN and you go to either host, depending on if you created a host game inside uh, an excellent interface on, on your web browser. Depending on what you did, if you hosted a game, then you click host game. If you click join, if you join the game, if you join someone else's game on there, then you click join game on here. And as you can see, triple o, or quadruple O is burner. That's my burner. Quadruple, quadruple O is my burner account. So that's what that is. Quadruple O is my burner account that you saw earlier. Um, as well, if you don't click, if you don't click to join the account from the X link dashboard, then you're not going to see this. You're not going to see this. You must join their, uh, you must join their, uh, server from inside the X link web browser. If you don't do that, then you will not see this because this is a private hosted server. So let's just say I wanted to only have this server for me and a friend that's right here in my house. Nobody else can come up on this. You know, if I made it where it was a password, 
and you can't get in. You can see it. You can see that I'm hosting the server on there, but you can't get in because it's private. So because I made it no password, I can just click to join and then therefore it connects me to this, to my land. You know what I'm saying? And this works for anywhere in the world. It could be anywhere. As long as you got internet and you got this set up and you follow my steps, you'll be able to do this too. Then you click and boom. You know what I'm saying? You connect it just like on the internet, the regular internet play. You know what I'm saying? But you don't even need no password, no PS2 key, none of this, no email for the thing. You don't need none of that. You just click it and boom, you join automatically. That's simple. And in case you guys think this is some kind of uh, some kind of some kind of fluke, you know what I'm saying? I can start up the game. The other PC is hosting, so I have to click the start button on this controller on my Xbox controller. I just clicked it and it just started the game. And then y'all see when I get into the game that uh, it's gonna work, and you're gonna see I'm controlling it with this controller. And this controller, and it's both the exact same motherfucker. It's both me. As you can see, there's two golfs. This one, I'm driving this one. Now, you see this? This golf is on the screen. Now, look at this. Pay attention to my hand and pay attention to the screen. This is real. This says no hoax. This is real talk. You follow my instructions to the T and you will be okay. Follow my instructions and you will be okay. If you don't follow my instructions, then it won't work. But we will have a Discord. So that way, if you need assistance, I will leave my Discord or, you know, me and my friends Discord that we've been putting together in the description. And in there, we'll be able to chat and you'll be able to ask any questions that you need as far as how to how to set this up if you're interested and also there will be the hub for where uh for the community if you want to play online with any of us you know what i'm saying then basically you'll be able to go on there and we'll be able to talk and like who want to play and all that kind of stuff so that way we can all be able to get online and you know we we'll have people to play with so with that being said, feel free to join our Discord server where you'll be able to have help, assistance, and you know, a community that will be playing along with you. So I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it wasn't too long. You know, I hope this was, you know, a, a good clear cut tutorial. And I promise you, you follow these instructions from A to Z. I keep saying it. You follow these instructions from A to Z. It, it will work. It would it this will work. And this will be a solution for everybody. Everybody. This will work. No more problems. No more negative 611. No more bullshit. So. Thank y'all for watching. And, you know, until next time. And I hope to see you guys online so we can start running some matches. Peace.